Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is, so it's the 19th of January and I am just now getting a chance to do this. Been looking forward to it all month. It's finally here. It's time to do the first Monster Bass box for 2023. So right now we're still in our um, winter season so cold water uh, fish are not very active so you're going to be thinking about either uh, baits that are going to get down to the bottom because a lot of your fish are going to be down on the bottom so you're going to be thinking bottom contact or uh, suspended fish depending on water temperature and you know feeding times and stuff like that so we're about to jump into this box I've taken a sneak peek. This month was the Lunker Hunt Takeover. So basically, everything in here, this box is jam packed with Lunker Hunt baits. Really, really good baits, and you shouldn't have any problems putting some fish in the boat. Um, if you are having problems, the first thing I would do as far as troubleshooting is see if you're actually out on the water. You can't catch fish unless you're on the water. So, that'll be your first thing. If you're not catching fish, it's probably because you're not on the water. So, fix that. Go get on the water. So, like always, we have our booklet here. Um, over time, they've changed up a few things. Uh, let's see here. So, all the boxes, your Platinum Series, your Gold Series, Silver Series, Silver Series, even your uh, Multi-Species, was a Lunker Hunt takeover. So whichever box you got, Lunker Hunt took over, guys. So that's what we're dealing with. But nevertheless, you should be very pleased with whatever you got because whatever you're paying uh, for the Platinum Series that I've got, $35 a month, but technically, you know, this is about a $55 box of lures. So you are going to be happy with your savings no matter what box you got. A uh, little bit of stuff here about the Lunker Hunt fishing. Uh, Lunker Hunt. Lunker Hunt is pretty much known for like their innovative lures. They they kind of think outside of the box when it comes to lures. What's not common or the norm when it comes to lures, and they come up with some weird, odd-looking baits, but they actually catch fish. So, be a good thing to you know, good way to get out here, learn some new baits, and then surprisingly, baits that you probably would walk past at the tackle shop. You know, they actually catch fish, so. A uh, few little deals here about some of the stuff. Uh, since got this one on here. Huh, I got lucky, and they sent me two of these. So these are the Lunker Hunt uh, Reactor Lipless Crankbaits. Uh, we got half ounce in weight, two and a half inches in the length. These are sinking, so they do sink. And it has a tight wobble action because it's that flat side. So a very, very tight wobble, which is what you want to look for in this colder water. Uh, both of these are in the red hot color. I don't know why they sent me two of these, but I'm not going to complain. Because normally when I go to the tackle shop and buy lures, I usually pick up two or three of them. So I got two of these now. So, uh, let's see here. we got a little bit of info on that one. The water depth is variable. So, you can fish it anywhere from that um, top layer, like right under the surface of the water, down to the bottom. Uh, the structures and the covers you want to throw this, you want to target grass. You want to target humps. You want to target the ledges. Open water. Nothing wrong with throwing this in open water. Fish it around riprap, around the points, around docks, and around rock. Uh, the suggested gear for this, we're going to go with a 7.6 medium heavy glass composite casting rod. You want to go anywhere from 14 to 20 pounds fluorocarb fluorocarbon and then a 6.1 to 8 6.8 to 1 gear ratio. I am having trouble talking tonight. That 6 to 1 to me is kind of that uh, the medium slow. 
um, is going to allow you to fish this bait without going too fast, but then, you know, you're not exactly going too slow. It's kind of, like I said, it's that, that medium slow area right there. It's going to be just perfect. And uh, one of the cool things or cool ways of fishing lipless crankbaits is called a yo-yo. When you throw it out and you let it hit, uh, get down to the bottom. And just like it says, you're yo-yoing it. Snap it up and reel up that slack. And as it's dropping back down, as it's dropping down, you reel up that slack and then you snap it back up. And just kind of yo-yo it. Really good way. A lot of times on that fall is when those fish will hit and you'll get those bites. Uh, let's see here. Next lures we got up, they're talking about some finesse swim baits. So let's see what we've got here for finesse swim baits. Uh, we have the Lunker Hunt Swim Bento. Uh, they show you got these rigged up with a, a small jig head. Uh, this color is called Ghost. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of it's a translucent white. Um, so four and a half inches, and these have five in here, uh, imitating a good looking shad there. For these, again, the depth is varying. You can fish this right there uh, underneath the surface, or if you have that jig head, let it get down there to the bottom. Uh, fishing structures, you can fish it around grass, humps, ledges, around brush piles, open water. Uh, you can fish it around riprap, points, docks, and uh, docks, rocks, and trees. Now for this setup, uh, normally on my swim baits I throw it on bait casters, but since we're talking about finesse, uh, with finesse uh, you're going to go with a, a lighter setup. So the suggested setup here, you got a 7 foot medium action spinning rod, uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon, and the 2500 size spinning reel. And again guys, this is going to allow you to, to, to detect those very, very subtle bites and uh, with this, you wouldn't have, you don't have to set the hook very hard. This is one of those reel up your slack and just kind of pull into them. Or even when the fish bite and that rod starts to load and you feel that bite, if you just turn that reel, it's basically the fish will hook themselves. And then at that point, you know, play with your reel a little bit uh, with the slack or not slack with your tension. That way the fish don't pull off, but this is again guys we're thinking finesse because the fish aren't out chasing so you kind of got to dangle that bait in their face a little bit almost to the point where you're irritating them to where they want to get that thing away from them and entice them into biting biting more out of anger because the bait is annoying them more than the hunger so want to be very easy and take your time with this stuff don't rush any of this stuff guys right now with this season don't rush it. This is the moment where you want to slow it down and take your time. Uh, the next one up, we got top water. So for top water, I told you guys they think outside the box. Lunker Hunt sent a reckless roach. Pretty sure some of y'all wouldn't think fish eat roaches, but I guess they do because I wouldn't have thought of that myself. But we do have this roach here. Uh, the color is charcoal. 3 8 ounce and it's about 2 inches so for this we're throwing it it's a surface bait of course top water so grass tules or reeds depending on where you are and what they call them brush piles open water rip wrap mats docks rocks and trees for this setup you'd want to go with a 7 6 medium heavy bait casting rod 30 to 50 pound braid especially around the grass the tules uh, stuff like that, you definitely want to go with that braid because it'll cut through that stuff. I'm pretty sure you could get away with fluorocarbon, uh, the open water, the brush piles, uh, the trees, and the rocks because that uh, fluorocarbon is a lot more abrasive, has that more abrasion resistance. But uh, for this one, they say 30 to 50 pound braid, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio because you want to be able to take up that line. Um, the 7 to 1 gear ratios, in my opinion, is kind of that medium fast. You're not going way too fast, but then you're not really going slow. You want to be able to take up that line, especially when those fish bite, because you got to remember with top water, 
soon as that fish busts the surface, you don't want to start setting the hook. So you need to give that fish time to come up, get the bait, turn, and go back down. Then set the hook. So you want to be able to reel up that slack, take as much slack as possible, set that hook. Don't be scared. Crack their heads when that time happens. So this is one of those baits that you know you probably will surprise yourself because you don't, like I said, you don't expect a fish to eat a roach, but who knows? All right. Now we have a wake bait. Most people see a wake bait and it almost looks like a, a crankbait that just rides on the surface. Again, Lunker Hunt thinks outside the box. So here we have the Battle Beetle. So 2.25 inches, half ounce in weight. So this is a really weird looking bait. So you got a segmented body there. You can see that there. You got these feather treble hooks for legs and then this small little square bill that should hold it right there under the surface. So you're talking surface and subsurface. And well, let me see here. It's got some rattles in there so it does make noise. Uh, you want to throw this around some grass, humps, ledges, open water, riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. So, uh, with that bill on there, you should be, you know, you shouldn't have any problems deflecting off of the trees and stuff like that. Uh, we're throwing this 7.6 medium heavy glass or composite rod, 50 pound braid, 6.8 to 1 gear ratio. Again, that uh, medium slow or slow medium, however you want to say it. But not too fast, but then not too slow. Uh, just a good steady retrieve on this. Uh, what did I say this color was? I guess this color is called Canopy. But again, that would be one of those lures that you probably wouldn't pick up at the tackle store. But you would probably surprise yourself when you see what kind of fish you can catch on these. descriptions of those baits but I have two more in here since we're talking finesse we have some uh, well finesse frogs and finesse craw each one of these see the frogs here has two frogs in it but if you'll notice that one uh, right here they already come pre-rigged with your net head these are uh, they do have a wire um, weed guard on there a single wire weed guard uh, one fourth ounce, three inches in size. Uh, this is the leap or leopard frog. I'm sorry, the color is leopard. And then on here you have a pack of three. Again, quarter ounce, three inches. Uh, crawls, black and blue, black with blue flake. Again, already comes pre-rigged. Um, again, we're talking finesse. So that bottom contact, I would either say a once it's on the bottom, slow reeling. I would probably say hold your reel at about a 10 to 11 o'clock uh, on your angle. That way, excuse me, that way when you see the fish, you know, you're detecting that bite, you'll see your rod tip. You don't want to hold straight down because you're not going to see your rod tip moving at all unless the fish is going off to the side. So I would say about a 10 or 11 o'clock holding it up and then that way you can see the bite when you see the rod moving you'll see your line moving and then you can feel it no need to really like jack them because again you're you, you're going to be using light line with this setup so probably if you've got your rod tip up when you detect that bite reel up your slack turn that reel maybe lean back into it you don't have to really jack them and they're going to hook themselves so a uh, really cool box lots of lots of cool baits uh, as always, oh, as always, you get your golden ticket. Where if you watch the Monster Bass videos every Thursday, six o'clock, seven o'clock p.m., uh, if they call your ticket. You win some kind of a prize, uh, a card here from Lunker Hunt with their own 
special code that you can use to uh, get you 20% off. Go to LunkerHunt.com, use the codes and get you some discounts on there. Lunker Hunt sticker. Lunker Hunt was established back in 2001, guys. So, been catching fish since 2001. And then, of course, you get your gift card for here at Monster Bass. Uh, use the code, get $10 off, and save you some extra money on getting a lot of cool lures to catch you some fish. And then, submit your pictures to Monster Bass. Get put in the booklet here uh, with your pictures of your fish and your info where you caught them your moon phases a lot of people don't think that that stuff plays a part but it really does because it helps you determine or dictate I guess I should say it helps you dictate uh, fish patterns uh, how active the fish are gonna be even in the winter time the winter time is some of the best time to catch fish um, I've heard this is also the times where you usually will catch your biggest fish so don't be afraid to get out there on the cold water and catch some fish. I have been doing some prepping myself. Um, I just did an upgrade on my, not really an upgrade, but an update on my graphs out in the boat. So I am getting ready to go out and do some fishing myself and put some of these lures to use. So that is all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. If you don't know Monster Bass, go on there right now. Hit the link down below. Check out Monster Bass. They got all kind of great baits, tackle, accessories, apparel. They got all kind of stuff. That way you can look good on the water as well as catching fish and having a good time. Thank you for joining my channel. Or I guess I should say thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. Drop comments down below. Share the videos with your friends. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can help me uh, grow this channel. So that way I can continue to put out great content for you guys, hopefully helping you on the water, as well as on the range with some of my other stuff that I talk about with uh, shooting guns and stuff like that. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. So until the next time, I will see you guys in the great outdoors.